Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Deborah and in this video I'm going to be talking about five reasons why you need to learn how to code in 2022. Yes, I know this is the seventh month of the year and you might be thinking that it's early today to learn how to code. You need to rethink because trust me, it's never too late to learn how to code. The best thing I know is you now. told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you try Before we get right into today's business, I realize that most people don't know what coding is. And we're going to start from that. What is coding? Coding can also be called computer programming and in a simple definition, it is a set of instructions given to the computer to perform a specific or desired task. Yes, we have lots and lots of programming languages and I'm going to use just a few of them. We have Python, we have C++, we have C, we have SQL and lots, lots more. Alright, let's get right into today's business. Five reasons why you need to learn how to code in 2022. Number one, the tech industry is growing. Yeah, it's no longer news that the tech industry has skyrocketed over the years. Yes, it has grown and is still growing. I mean, we have smart watches, we have smartphones, we have smart cars, we have smart stores in our homes, and there are even robots in some shops all over the countries right now. Yes, there are robots doing things humans are supposed to do. If you don't know, know that now. And literally, you can't do anything without going to the internet. And the world is changing. The world is changing and the best thing you can do for yourself right now is to sit down and learn how to code because you don't want to be left behind, trust me, you don't want to be left behind. Number two, no, you don't need a fancy degree. Yeah, you don't need a degree to get a job in tech and that's really, really amazing. You can see that I'm smiling because that's so beautiful, right? Because of the soft, because of the high demand in software developers right now, most companies don't look at your degree anymore. Yeah, they don't care to know if you have a degree or not. They are only interested in your skills, all interested in what you have to offer. And trust me, once you have the right skills, you will get the job. Yes, once you have the right skills, you are going to get that job you are aiming for. Trust me. And that's a very beautiful thing, right? Because for those of us that are not interested in going back to school anymore, you can actually take online courses. And get certificate for them. You can go through boot camps. This can be between six to twelve months, and land yourself a high-paying job as well. Or you can choose to sit at home and teach yourself how to code. Yeah. Thank God for the internet right now. There are lots of resources online where you can teach yourself how to code for free, or at low cost, or at a very high cost. You just have to be patient and focused and trust me, soon you're going to get that job. Number three, flexibility and freedom. Since most of the job right now require just a computer and internet connection, you can actually sit at the comfort of your home and work. Yeah, thankfully most of the companies right now offer opportunity to work remotely and that's very beautiful. You can sit in your room, work for a company outside the country and be any big. I'm earning in dollars. So web developer, you can choose to freelance, and with freelancing comes freedom, great freedom. You can you can manage your schedule and choose to work on the projects on which you are most passionate about, and you can also travel around the world with your programming skills. Yes, through vacation or even relocation, that's a very beautiful thing, right? For tons of job opportunities. Yes, because the tech industry has grown and is still growing. This world is now resulting in high demand of software developers all over the world. Yes, companies are in high demand, are looking for software developers, web, web developers, programmers all over the world right now. You might think that ah, the tech industry is oversaturated, it's populated. Yes, it is populated, but trust me, there are not enough people right now to fill out those spaces, to fill out those positions. They need People, they need us, they need you and me with tech skills to come out and fill those positions. I feel like right now we lack they lack tech skills or I don't know how to put it, but trust me, even if you're learning to code right now, in the next five years there will still be space for us. Trust me, don't be don't be um discouraged thinking ah I beg you don't cast. Trust me, it never cast. The best time to come into tech is now. Number five, 
increased earning potential. This is one of the most strongest and obvious reasons why most people learn how to code now. I mean, isn't it obvious? There's money in tech. Money can be motivation in most jobs and in the case with programming, it's no different. I mean, there are lots of programming jobs you can get right now and you'll be any higher than average salary. Yes, you will. You will be any higher than that. So if you know that there's money in tech, why don't you want to go for it? I mean, who doesn't like money? Who? You see those tech bro all over the internet there. Most of them do it for fun, yeah. Most of them do it because they like it. But majority of them do it are doing it because of the money. Yes. And if you can't really learn at low cost or free cost, why are you not doing it? Or don't you want to live your gym life? <laughs> Don't want to leave, don't don't want to leave your gym reasons, life. But I actually want to add one more, which is increase problem solving skills. Yeah. You need to have a career in tech before you decide to learn how to code. You can actually be in finance, marketing, or even in the hospital, health, and still decide to learn how to code. Because, trust me, there are lots of problems this country is facing. <laughs> you might have a problem in your workspace your community in your church anywhere around you and because you don't have to call you have um problem solving skills you can solve it yes you can solve it and that would be great that would be amazing so even if you're working in a health shelter you can even bring your coding skills into your health shelter yes you can do that even if finance all right thank you for sticking around with me i hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as i enjoyed filming it <laughs> and if you are currently learning how to code on your own i want you to comment down let me see your experiences tell me what you're going through how the journey has been for you and if you have been willing to learn how to code but you don't know how to start or you think it's already late trust me my dear it's not late the best time to start is now. I want you to comment too and tell me what are your fears, what are you scared of. Let's go on this journey together. Thank you guys for watching. I love you. And please don't forget to like, subscribe. And I know share you video. told your Bye. friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look. But I've known you too